Okay, so suggest mechanisms for these reactions. This one's pretty straightforward. So what you should be looking for here is what is the chemistry that is going on here? And I think that hopefully if you see this, what you'll recognize is that this is a ketal. And these are the conditions which are used to convert this ketal back to a ketone. How does that happen? I'll draw the first step of this. through all the details of it because this is a perfect mechanism to go look up in your book. First step is going to be protonation of this oxygen and then subsequent addition of water there and then you recycle back through that to eventually lead to the ketone. All right. So now what are you going to do? So now, once you're eventually to this intermediate, we're under acid catalysis conditions. So what's the standard reaction that we've seen? Hopefully pretty straightforward. <clears throat> First step. I'm going to create a green yard here. This is a good example. So this is this. So question five is pulled from your book. But this is a good example of a problem alluding to things to come. Okay. So what do we eventually want to have happen here? So we're looking at this green yard reagent reacting with this molecule. So what's the most electrophilic position on this molecule? It is not this carbon chlorine bond to the benzene ring. Why isn't it? Well if you think about mechanistically how this reaction would have to happen your nucleophile would have to come up inside the benzene ring and undergo a backside attack with that carbon chlorine bond. Right. <clears throat> the most electrophilic position is this. So then it's going to come in and react there. So that when you undergo workup, again, I'm not going to go through the, all of the steps of imine conversion. conversion of, so workup will leave you this. Okay. 
This is an imine. This will very readily go back to the ketone. Final step, loss of hydrogen. I'm not going to draw that. But that's how we get to this product. 